The most common phobia is arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. The second most common phobia is aphidiophobia, the fear of snakes. And there's something strange about this because snakes may be less feared than spiders, but they're actually much more dangerous to human beings in general. During the 20th century, spider bites killed about 100 people. So spiders, the number one fear, kill about one person a year. By contrast, snakes, the number two fear, kill about 25,000 people every year. So number one fear kills one person a year, number two fear kills 25,000 people a year. So why are snakes more feared than spiders? And really, why, why are spiders more feared than anything that, I mean, there's lots of things that kill more human beings than spiders, cars or cancer or germs or whatever, mosquitoes, whatever. And yet spiders are the most feared animal, most feared anything. Because not only are spiders relatively harmless, but they're actually quite helpful to have around. They almost exclusively eat pest insects. And the reason they're called pest insects is because we don't like them. And so killing and eating them is something of a service to us. So spiders are, they're mostly harmless. They don't compete with us. They don't want to kill us. They don't want to eat us. Uh, they don't want to eat our food. They don't compete with us for food. And they're quite helpful to us. Really, I mean, spiders, they want, they want to eat pest insects. They take up a little bit of space. They're not a real natural enemy to human beings. They're not, they're not a logical uh, fear for human beings to have in any sort of objective sense. I mean, to take it even further, compare a spider to a fly. <clears throat> if a fly gets inside your house, it's going to probably search around for some food, and if it finds any, it's probably going to be your food. Then it's going to throw up in your food. Then it's going to have itself a meal. And then maybe it'll go and search for a fly of the opposite sex to mate with, and then maybe try and find some place to lay its eggs. And if it finds a good place, it may well be in your food again. And uh, probably the same food the fly threw up in earlier. And to add on to that, all that, Flies have sort of ninja-like reflexes, so they're really difficult to kill, and they can be loud and annoying, and um, they don't f really fear humans, so they have, they, have no, they have no fear of buzzing around you or landing on you or crawling all over you or anything. Uh, flies are a great natural enemy for human beings, much more so than spiders are, and yet there's not a widespread fear of flies the way there is with spiders. So why, why are, and even, take, take it even a step further, while flies don't fear human beings and have this great natural defense against the swaths of human beings, spiders are much more helpless against us, at least especially uh, web-spinning spiders, which is how we traditionally think of spiders. Uh, if a web-spinning spider gets in your house, it's going to look for a nice quiet corner to build its web and sit there and try and catch flies and other insects to eat. And, and web-spinning spiders don't really leave their webs. They like to just sit there and wait. Uh, so if you find a spider in a web, uh, you can kill it anytime you want. A spider's main defense mechanism, if threatened, is to go to the back of the web, and sort of cross its legs and just hope you don't squish it. And that's much, a much weaker defense than the flies and ninja-like reflexes. I mean, once you find a spider in a web, you could go grab a newspaper and go crush the spider very easily. Or you could wait an hour and kill the spider then, or you could wait a day and kill the spider then. You can kill that sucker any time you want, and there's not really anything you can do. It's, it, it can't hurt, it can't fight you, it, it doesn't want to run from its web. It, it's, it's completely at your mercy. So add, add this all up. Spiders are harmless, they're nice to have around, they don't compete with us, and they're at our mercy for the most part. Much more so than other insects, at least. So why, why are they so feared? I mean, there's got to be something else to it. And I've sort of like to present three theories real quick. And the first theory is that maybe we fear spiders because of how they look. 
The second theory is that maybe we fear them because of how they act. And the third theory is that maybe we fear them because of how things used to be, which is sort of the most mysterious of the three theories. And the first theory is the simplest, actually. It's uh, how spiders look. Uh, when you look at a spider, there, there are definitely creepy elements to, uh, how, to their appearance. Uh, they're all sort of legs and eyes, and um, they're, they're generally dark in color, I guess. Uh, they're, they're sort of, and they're, they have a lot of similar insects. I've heard one, um, and maybe something that sets them apart from insects is a theory that a friend of mine mentioned where uh, they have this sort of very predatory look to them. Their elbows extend up above uh, the rest of their bodies, and it sort of makes it look like they're ready to pounce at any moment. Maybe that's, maybe that's why they're feared. And I think there might be something a little bit to that, but, I mean, keep in mind, spiders are the most feared, at least, there's more phobia of spiders than there is of anything else. So compare, a, I mean, you could, could compare a spider to any insect, and if there's any insect that is similarly sort of scary looking, it sort of, it, it hurts this theory some. I mean, the, mo the best example I can think of would be the wasp as sort of the counterexample. Uh, the wasp has a lot of sort of scary elements to its appearance also. It's got the bulbous body, it's got the stinger on one end, it's got long dangling legs. Uh, generally wasps are, bi wasps are bigger than spiders, at least common spiders. And, I mean, wasps are even specifically colored to... Their coloration is specifically designed to scare animals. Uh, the reason why they're gold and black is not to camouflage. Generally, spiders are, are colored for camouflage purposes, so they'll be dark and hard to see. But wasps are colored gold and black, and that actually sort of makes them easier to see in a lot of circumstances. And the reason for that is it's sort of nature's warning to animals that, oh, this is a stinging insect, it comes from a hive, uh, if you mess with it or any of its uh, community members or its hive, be prepared to deal with hundreds of stinging insects that are going to gang up on you and try and kill you. Uh, so I, I, I think that uh, the wasp's appearance should has more elements to it that should scare us than a spider's does. And indeed, lots of insects have sort of creepy elements to their appearance that should make us scare them. But no, no insect comes anywhere close to the fear level that spiders inspire. So I don't think appearance alone can explain why we fear spiders so. Uh, much more plausible to me is the second theory, and that's the theory that it's how spiders act that makes us afraid of them. And specifically here I'm referring to web-spinning spiders and the process by which web-spinning spiders catch their prey. Uh, think about what a spider, what a web-spinning spider does to catch its prey. It sits in its web and it waits for prey to come and the prey gets caught and the prey sort of struggles and struggles and can't get away. It's, ho it's helpless. So the spider crawls slowly over and binds the prey up and then at its leisure can suck the blood out of the prey and then just discard the carcass. And it's easy to see how seeing that drama or hear, hearing about how the spider catches its prey, seeing that happen or hearing about it happen, would trigger a lot of other fears in human beings unrelated to what a spider actually is. I mean, hearing, a, see, hearing about an insect getting trapped in a web could trigger fears of be, being trapped in general. It could trigger fears of... Um, struggling hopelessly it could trigger fears of seeing your doom coming for you the way the insect sees the spider coming for it and not only seeing your doom coming but being helpless to do anything about it it could trigger fears of being tortured i mean that's torture is sort of unique to humans that is something we do to each other and sometimes to animals um, but the the way that a spider spider slowly uh, sort of takes its time killing its prey uh, could trigger fear, tor could, we might associate with torture in our brains, may perhaps even subconsciously. And there's even the fear of sort of 
slowly having your life drained away, the way an insect has its blood drained away by a spider. Uh, these are all sort of uh, fears we'd normally associate with um, human behavior, uh, but the, 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 sp the spider sort of um, seeing this drama play out would e could easily trigger these fears in us. That's, that's what I was trying to say. And not only does what a, a lot of what a spider does could we easily associate with the evils that mankind does to other man, but it's a sort of natural drama that's on display a lot because spiders are quite common, they're common to find in households, and they, they tend to hang around. If you don't specifically kill the spider or shoo it away, spiders tend to hang around for a while. So most of us have seen this drama at play, the, 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 the prey getting caught, the spider slowly binding the prey up and killing it and then discarding the carcass. This is something that we all get to see. If you, if you want to, you can see it just about at every day probably. Spiders are pretty common. So it's easy to see how this would be a universal sort of um, association between spiders and uh, these other sort of horrifying ideas, ideas of torture and dying slowly and that sort of thing. Things that we might think are fates worse than death. Um, so anyway, I think that's plausible that the reason we fear spiders is, is the web and all the sort of psychological uh, things that might, we might associate with how spiders catch prey. But I did have a third theory and it's sort of just for fun. And it's the idea that maybe modern spiders aren't a threat to humans, but perhaps there was a time in history when spiders were a major threat to humans. And it's been so long that we don't really remember or, and we don't really have a good record of it, but and, and it, I guess it would be a time before history, in fact. But it, perhaps sometime in prehistory, there were spiders that could kill humans on a, on a regular basis, and there were a major threat. So, I mean, think about the Ice Age. During the Ice Age, animals were generally much larger, and they were generally much more of a threat to human beings. And that sort of, human beings had to learn to work together to battle these animals, not, not just to hunt these animals, but to protect themselves. Think about uh, woolly mammoths and uh, saber-toothed tigers and that sort of thing. So maybe during this era when animals were generally larger and more dangerous, maybe there were much larger or more dangerous spiders. Uh, maybe there were spiders that, or maybe there were spiders that were much more poisonous, or spiders that could build elaborate webs that could actually catch human beings. And this is sort of something that's kind of scary to think about. It's sort of a, a science fiction-y type of theory, but... Uh, and there's really no evidence for it. I mean, there's no, there haven't been any fossils found of this nature, but maybe one day there will be, and it'll inspire uh, a lot of old fears and uh, maybe some Hollywood movies or some such. But that theory's just for fun. I don't, I don't actually believe it, but yeah, who knows. So if you watched this far, uh, thanks for watching a relatively long YouTube video, and um, uh, if you have any theories, uh, feel free to share. Uh,